So this is going to be for the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, George. It's my 2007 uh, HHR, uh, I think LT. Um, it's got 131 very hard miles on it. I've had it since it was new practically. Uh, it was a company car for a year before I got it. Um, I, I will say uh, it's dirty. Uh, the inside's dirty, the outside's dirty. I don't normally keep it this dirty, but we've had a lot of rain, and I've been busy, so... Uh, it's supposed to rain again, but it's Friday, and I've got a few minutes. Um, I, I just need to do this before, because I'm not going to have time Saturday or Sunday like I was hoping. So, uh, having said that, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to be barding with, bombarding you guys with videos this weekend. Uh, it's the one I just put up. It's going to be this one, my normal video on Sunday night, and then the uh, giveaway video which should be short like a couple minutes um so let's get right down to it um so it's got the 2.2 uh, ecotech motor um to me that's a negative i would really have preferred the 2.4 uh liter motor but uh it does the job i'm not you know i'm not really complaining about that um Another thing is getting the air cleaner out of here is a pain in the butt. You got to take this off, flip it over, and there's like six hex bolts uh, screws on the other side. Um, you're going to need, I think it's a 22. I'll find out uh, in a little bit here, but I think that's a 22 millimeter socket to get to your air fil your oil filter right here. Uh, it's a canister type uh, cartridge uh, oil filter. I didn't like it at first, but frankly, I do. I do like it. I really do. Uh, I think, not sure, I think these uh, intakes are plastic. Well, they got a plastic coating, I'm not really sure which. Um, that is not the battery, although it does have two battery posts on it for jump starting. The battery's in the back, I'll show you that. And for all the room, there is plenty of room in here. You think, oh great, I could get to the headlights. No, no you can't. This was one of the m dumbest moves I've ever seen Chevy do. In order to get to the, replace your headlights, you have to take this inner fender well out, and that's how you get to them. So what I do is I just remove all the fasteners to about the center of the wheel, and then I just pull it back, and then I can get to the headlights and the driving lights. Not exactly an ideal situation. The um, only issues I've had with this car in the amount of time I've had it is I had uh, one uh, fuel injector go out. Uh, I replaced it, but turns out you have to take it to the dealer to have the the computer reprogrammed so that it works. Uh, it's a fly-by-wire, which I hate. Or, sorry. Yeah, fly-by-wire, uh, which I hate. I want a throttle cable from the throttle body to the gas pedal, but in this car, it doesn't have it. Um, it's not been a problem. I just... Personal preference. I don't really care for it. Uh, you got fuses and all sorts of electronics under here. Um, they did put a a uh, pad up here to cut down on the heat which was nice um, I thought that was a nice touch um, I did replace the front struts although I didn't have to it was just part of a package deal that I when I redid the front end the other problem with these cars um, the HHRs is the front bushings go bad on them fairly quickly I've replaced them twice now so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I guess it's a common problem with this front suspension by Chevy. I guess it's on the Cobalts and HHRs and the rest of them. Um, so I have the moon slash sunroof, which just recently did this. Let me... I don't use it that often once maybe twice a year I'm just not a sunroof kind of guy and like that busted over there see how it's sitting up this one's sitting inside the track here so that makes now closing this a bit of a problem uh, I noticed on the 2009s they've changed the position of these uh, uh, for the windows the windows buttons are now on the doors which is what I I've always thought that should be the case, but to be honest, it works. Um, I've gotten used to them being here. Uh, so you got cruise control, you got uh, audio controls for the stereo. 
It has uh, a speaker in every, a two-way speaker in every door, tweeters up front, and there's a subwoofer in the back, which I'll get to in a little bit. Uh, it has a center console here. Don't ever put anything you care about in there unless you have something in front of your window. Anything in here in the heat of summer will melt. It will. I lost uh, the first time before I realized that. I mean, that, was, that would be the first summer I had it. I had a pair of sunglasses in there, and they melted. I'm not kidding. That's how bad it was. And then you got your glove box, and this in this car the seats are heated. Um, just the front ones. Um, and then you got the cubbies here. See another speaker in the back door. Um, the other problem is these handles tend to break, and the official way to fix it is to replace this entire panel, which you can imagine gets expensive even from a junkyard. They do sell repair kits. You have to do a little plastic welding on the back, um, but there's plenty of videos that show you how to do that, and so far, yeah, it's not wood, but knock on wood, I haven't had one of them break, so pretty lucky. Um, then uh, you have the seats, you have the seats that fold down from the back. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Now it stops like that, so what you have to do, you'll see there's a lever right here. Let's pull that up, and then that seat folds down. Then we'll walk around. Hopefully the wind isn't being a problem. If it is, sorry. I can't, there's no room in the garage, so I can't. So again, there's another lever here to tilt the front. And then you have the back seats to go down. Now the front seat on this one goes down. So the front seat goes all the way down, this passenger side front seat. Ignore this, it's just some glue. It's a long story. Um, this becomes a nice little tray. I've spent several eight-hour trips to my parents having a laptop here playing my music while I drive. Uh, I would eat here, that sort of thing. Um, let me get rid of this. See, this is what I put in the window to keep that thing from frying. And there's my little Yankee Candle scent deal. Let's get rid of this. And you can see it's pretty gnarly in here because, again, I... When I came back from my sister-in-law's, this was just filled with junk. Um, rear subwoofer is right there. It works extremely well. Um, so you have this thing, like George was saying, can go up there. Uh, you can also flip it over. Again, I'm trying to do it one-handed. And then it has, it's recessed a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And then it has these tie downs here, here. Uh, if you get an extra one of these, it can come in handy. I just haven't been bothered. Uh, there's these tie downs there, 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 and there, um, and here. And they're metal, not plastic. The um, yeah, you get to the rear lights are here and here. Uh, You'll notice my little cargo spots back here. I got a, di uh, a car diet machine there. And some paper towels and a, char a spare charger there. Uh, these are broken because I was hauling a bunch of metal for somebody and wasn't paying attention. So that's my bad. Uh, a tow rope because, yeah, out here in the sticks you run into that. Sometimes you gotta tow people. Or not tow them, but you know, get them out of ditches and that sort of thing, even when it's not winter. I normally have a pair of jumper cables in here, but my niece borrowed them and hasn't brought them back. So, I'll have to do that. Pull this up. And that's where the battery is, right next to the spare tire. Well, I'm gonna leave this off because clearly I need to vacuum in here too. To be fair, it's probably been a long time since I vacuumed in here. Um, but, uh, all in all, uh, I'm very pleased with it. You actually have quite a bit of room to haul stuff, but having said all that, I, uh, it's not the truck replacement I was hoping it was. So, when it comes time to replace this, and that could be a while, um, I'm getting a truck. Because... 
I just hate not having one. Uh, also, there's a charging port. If you can see that charging port right there. One cup holder in the back, which kind of irked me. I would really like to have seen a couple more, like one in each door. Um, oh, the other thing I had go wrong with this was the um, was the EVAP valve. Uh, but it's like super easy to get to. You can crawl underneath and uh, right, right by the rear axle, there's a straight axle uh, right by there. It's just easy to take off and replace. So, in fact, I got a video up on how to do that. Um, uh, same rear suspension as came on the car, and it's still in great shape. In fact, I had this thing loaded down with all sorts of supplies and tools and stuff last night when I got home, and you couldn't even tell. I don't know what they used for suspension, but it's not your typical uh, coilover uh, struts because... Um, it's crazy how strong they are and yet it doesn't ride like a buckboard so I'm pretty impressed the uh, it's on a steel frame you know like the old ones where you had the two rails and then um, bars connecting everything uh, which is nice there's not a lot of flex in the car so that's good um, drum brakes in the rear not big fan but you know it is what it is uh, you'll notice I painted this, and the reason I painted it is because they get worse than this. You can see like here there's like some cracking and um, mostly just cracking and it's like the the gold is separating from the laminates or from the uh, clear um, outer piece. Anyway, it got real bad so I just painted it. Just pretty typical of these cars I guess. Um, or those emblems anyway uh, but I think that's about it um, I don't think there's anything else um, it's got a push button latch so you just use one finger push it and then the struts come up um, works really well again things what 10 years old almost and 131,000 miles in still opens and closes like new so I can't complain about that uh, what else um, I really think that's about it uh, I have the same exhaust on here that I had when I bought it um, it's got a nice little low rumble it's got the uh, chrome tip exhaust see and so it's got a muffler that produces a nice little rumble when it when you start it and when you take off. But otherwise, it's pretty quiet overall. Um, then it's got the typical Chevy problem, and this is something I'm going to have to fix this year. It's starting to rust here, so I'm going to have to sand this down, knit over it. I don't know how good of a job I'm going to be able to do, but I'm sure going to try. And you can see. I need new uh, seals for the driver's door. The passenger and the other doors are fine. I guess I'm just particularly hard on this this stuff. So, but that's easy enough to replace, and that's probably my fault. Um, but otherwise, everything just works. I get in, I start it, and I go. Uh, it does have electronic power steering. And what that means is um, anything above 25 miles an hour, the power steering turns off. Which, uh, in the winter, can be interesting as you're backing in or coming out of a parking space or whatever and the tires are spinning and it thinks it's doing, you know, 10, 15 miles an hour and power steering kicks, in, kicks off. And then the moment you hit um, pavement or gravel or whatever and the tires stop spinning there's a moment where you have no power steering at all it's very brief and it's hardly noticeable but it does throw you a little so just be aware that's it's probably a thing you want to watch for uh, but I think this has already gone on long enough um, so like I said I got to repair the bottom of this door and the bottom of that door the the rest of the doors are doing fine. They're holding up. Those are the only rust spots after 10 years. I'm not too upset about that. 
And when she's cleaned and buffed and polished and clean inside, she's actually quite the car. Um, honestly, I should get rid of it and get a truck, which is what I really want to do. Problem is, I love it too much. And I will say, um, being 5'9", uh, in more body than leg, um, I tend to hit the roof a little bit as I need a haircut. So that's kind of my indicator of, okay, it's time for a haircut. My top of my hair is starting to rub up against the top of the roof. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, you can see where the paints wore off just from so much use. Again, my fault. Not It's not a, a comment about the, um, the paint job. The paint job has actually held up quite well for a cheap Chevy car. I really expected it to be a lot worse. I'll get under here real quick. You can see that's the that's the exhaust that came with the car, stock one. And then under here, uh, you can't see it. Under here, there are um, tow hooks or whatever uh, up front too. And I don't know if you can see it, but right there is the eval uh, valve. Uh, for the canister. I mean, you couldn't get any easier to get to it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so it's got... Oh, I said struts, didn't I? It's shocks with coil springs. I know it's crazy, but... Uh, it works. And you can see there's an axle, sort of, that goes across there. There's an anti-sway bar on here. Um... And this car sits out all the time. It's never in a garage. So um, it, through all the winters and everything, that running board is still good. And, and on the other side, too. There's no rust, no nothing. So, all right. I think that's enough yapping. Um, so anyway, if you, uh, if you ever get a chance to try an HHR and you never have, try it. You might just like it. A lot of people I know that own them said they weren't even going to consider getting one until they rent to rent a car and this was all they had and they drove it and two days later they had to have one. Just saying. Just saying. And for you car nuts out there, they make this in an SS model. You get uh, better rims, um, better ground effects, a lower profile, you know, closer to the ground, and it comes with a 2.4 turbo, um, I don't think it's an Ecotec, but uh, it's probably, um, it gets up and moves pretty good, so whatever it is, it's a 2.4, that much I know, with a turbocharger. And uh, having said all of that, thanks for watching. Later.